Yes. Sila ay napahulong. But here's the thing. Minsan nakala mo, defeated ka na, pero kung nandiyan si Jesus sa buhay mo, kaya niyang balik na rin yung defeat mo into your greatest victory. What is your greatest weakness right now? God can really turn that into your greatest testimony in your life. Struggle mo bang magsinungaling? God will redeem you and you will proclaim the truth. Struggle mo ba yung last? God will redeem you and you will pursue purity and love. Struggle mo ba yung greed? God will redeem you and you will value not the riches of this world, but the riches and the glory of who Jesus is in your life. In Christ, what looks like your greatest defeat will turn into your greatest victory. Number four, the reason all hell has risen against you is not about everything you've done wrong, but by everything you are about to do right in Christ Jesus. Maraming mga Kristiyano sumusunod sa Lord, magtataka, bakit ito tinadaan ako? Bakit ako nagkakakalain? Bakit may problema ganito? Ngayon pa naman na seryoso na ako sa relationship ko sa Lord. Bakit ito yung aking pinagtadaanan? But the reason is, you know why the enemy is attacking you? It's not because of your past. Pinatawad na ni Jesus yun eh. Kasi takot yung kalaban dun sa mga tamang gagawin mo dahil nandiyan na si Jesus sa buhay mo at ang buhay mo ay nasa kamay na ni Jesus. Don't be threatened by the enemy. You are in God's hands. The enemy is trying to defeat you. Not because of your past, but even in it. But because of the glorious future that awaits you in Christ Jesus. Don't dwell in the past. Don't dwell in the past. We move forward. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, we press on. We press on to know Jesus more. We press on to love Jesus more. Number five, and I'm about to end. You are either prison or purpose driven. You are either prison or purpose driven. Ano ang larawan ng isang prison driven? Stuck lagi sa failures. Stuck lagi sa mistakes. Stuck lagi sa discouragement. Stuck lagi sa fear. Stuck lagi dun sa weakness. Stuck lagi dun sa mindset that he or she cannot do any better in his or her life. But you know what? We ought to be purpose-driven. Why purpose-driven? Is that when we understand whatever we go through, God can use for His glory. Whatever we go through, God can teach us the greatest lessons in life. What is our purpose? To know Jesus more. To glorify Jesus more. That in our lives, in whatever we do, Christ will be exalted. Don't be prison-minded or prison-driven. Be purpose driven by the plans, driven by the goodness of God in your life. Don't be driven by what you see. Be driven by what He said. Be driven by what He said. When I was writing the sounds, I said, Lord, why not be by what He says? Because a lot of Christians, the one who is here, has no idea of what I'm about to say. But if they are just going to say what I'm about to say, hindi na sila dapat mamuhay sa defeat. E ano ba ang isang marahil sa pinakaunang kapahayagan ng pag-ibig at layunin ng Panginoon sa atin? John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son and whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. By what He said, value the promises of God in your life. Don't be driven by what you see. Be driven by what He said. I will never leave you nor forsake you. If God be for us, who can be against us? If my people will humble themselves and pray, I will hear their prayers. I will heal their land. What God said. Kaya nga pag tayo lumalapit sa altar ball, sa mga kaanuman, mga events na atin ang tinaluhan at sinalihan, di ba hindi ka alas doon na walang kapahayagan sa iyo, Lord? And often times, sa dami ng scriptures o sa dami ng points na pwede yung preach ng pastor, ito lang naman ang papapangon sa'yo ni Jesus para lumakas ka eh. I love you. I love you. Love drives out all fear. Amen. So pag alam mo mahal ka ni Jesus, wala kang hindi malalampasan. Pag alam mo mahal ka ni Jesus, hindi pwede hindi ka mag-move forward. That's all we need, church. 
It's true that God loves you. Yeah, well, I love the song Good, Good Father. Kasi sabi, you're a good, good father. That's who you are. That's who you are. Ano sinabi doon ni Christo ngayon? And I am loved by you. That's the summation of our life as Christians. To be loved by God. Not the other way around. Na ang gagawin natin ay magpasiklop tayo kung gano natin kamahal ng Lord. No! Sabi ni Rick Warren, may lumapit sa kanyang isang church member. Sabi, Pastor Rick Warren, how come I'm still struggling with the same sin? Is it because I don't love God that much? When I'm spiritual, the Holy Spirit is in the Pastor Rick Warren. No, I believe it's because you've forgotten how much God loves you. Pag alam mo kung gano'ng kakamahan ng Lord, it will change you. Pag alam mo kung gano'ng kakamahan ng Lord, it will empower you. It will set you to your destiny kung saan ka man itinipay ng Panginoon. Number six, God showed us that we can never be stuck Chains will break, and I prophesy over your life right now, church. Chains will break when we worship. I know all the chains, and the chains of the spirit. Chains will break. Ang kaputian sa Lord hindi siya namigile ng mga chains na kanyang sisirain. Lapit mo sa kanya, sisirain niya. You don't have to say, Lord, pwede mo kaya niya sisirain tong chain na to? No. It's just little faith. Just believing in how God loves you. So but they were in prison because you know what? Ang pinapakita ni ng Lord dito dun sa demonstration sa buhay ni Paul and Silas na you can never be too stuck when you live for me. You can never be too stuck. Your destiny is to not be stuck. But here's the temptation, my son. We can sometimes be stuck with our victories in the past. But God is saying, kahit doon sa victories mo in the past, leave it behind. There are greater victories waiting for you in my name. In my name. What have you achieved? That is nothing compared to what is coming, says the Lord. Yes. It is greater. It is wider. Ikin pa sa kung ano ginawa ng Lord sa buhay mo. Gets better with Jesus. That's why I love your song na, Every day with you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's sweeter than the day You should be like that. You should be like that. Kadalasan, yung ating pag-perceive ng goodness ng Lord nakadepende sa ating performance. But you know what? God's goodness doesn't depend on how good you've been. So whether you've been good and faithful, bad, good, God remains constantly faithful. Constantly Amen. good. And that's what will change you and what will change me and what will change our nation our generation. You've got to believe it with all your heart that it is possible. But if God was just waiting for this generation, tulad ng Esther, for such a time as this, I believe we are, we are in, at the edge of mankind, in the history of man. But you know what? God's not done yet. God's not done yet. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world. No wonder you write songs. No wonder you do what you do. As much as social media has a lot of, you know, disadvantage to our children, but nonetheless, what can we do as a church? Use everything that we can use for the glory of God. Keep reaching out to people. God showed us that we can never be stuck. Chains will break when we worship. When we worship. Right now, Sino dito ang handa na magpuri sa Panginoon? Yes! Introduction lang tayo kanina. It gets Come better. On. It gets Woo. better. It gets better. It gets better. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I invite you to stand church. Come on! Hallelujah, Jesus! Sabi niya namin natin kanina, Jesus, you're all I want. Jesus, you're all I need. You're all my heart desires. I believe it's in line with the same heart of Mero, the Apostle Paul. When they were in prison, when they were in prison, they didn't desire for anything or anyone else. But sa ninyo, hindi man nila si Ikaw makawala. When they were there, they just enjoyed worshiping God in 